Today I'm going to show you some displacement tricks that I never knew of. First, let's add some text, select the type tool, type in whatever you want, press Ctrl T, press and hold alt, scale it up, right click on the text, let's go to convert a smart object and just drag and drop an image that you like. Take in mind that this should be experimental, so you can check out and experiment multiple images to see how it's going to perform. So I'm going to put it something like that. You also can decrease the opacity to match the text. I'm going to go something like this, increase the opacity back, make sure that you're on the image. Let's go to the select color range. And I selected the mid-tones, the fuzziness is somewhere around 20 and the range dark and light is more on the left side. So the main point is to eliminate all these white areas and make it transparent as possible like this. Click OK. I'm going to uncheck the image, select the text and now let's go to the filter, distort and let's select the spherize. I'm going to go somewhere around 50. Click OK. And look at that, it is going to displace the text in a sphere style. How insane is that? And basically that selected image is replaced here in the smart filter and deleted. And if you don't like it, you can go back to the sphere eyes here, double click on it. And for example, I can decrease it somewhere around 30. Let's check this out. Now you got less distortion, text is more clear. Now you're gonna press Control J to duplicate this typo layer. And I'm gonna go back and double click on the sphere eyes and I'm gonna increase it for example on 70 click OK and double click on the layer on the top one and go to the channels for example I'm gonna uncheck the red yeah look at that click OK and you can play around however you like and by the way you can also go into the opposite direction as well with the sphere eyes so I'm gonna select the bottom text layer I also gotta double click on it and I'm gonna uncheck one of the channels like this click OK and I'm gonna double click on the sphere eyes and I'm gonna decrease it, for example, in minus 30. Click OK. I think this is too much distortion, in minus 20 maybe. And this is how you work with this displacement trick here in Photoshop. Thanks for watching.